This is a tutorial to show how to use a grocery bag as the internal coil for a coil basket. We're going to be covering this with yarn to make it uh, possible for us to choose what color our basket is going to be on the outside. And I'm going to start by showing you how to use the grocery bag as the internal coil and start the basket. So first of all, I have a grocery bag and you can see it's just a regular giant brand grocery bag. I and mean, it doesn't matter as long as they're about the same size. You can see the handles are at the left hand side and then on the right hand side you can see the bottom of the bag. This is the bottom edge and I have flattened the bag out. Next, I'm going to fold it in half. Again, I'm pressing all the air out as I fold. So the handles are at the top. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. I'm trying to line it up pretty evenly. Squeeze all the air out. And then I'm going to kind of roll it up. But I'm going to be starting my basket at the bottom of the bag going to kind of roll to make it a little narrower. And then I'm going to be using a plastic stitching needle. It's just like a plastic needle point needle and a length of yarn. And my length of yarn is about from my fingertip all the way across my body to the other fingertip. So it's about two yards probably. I'm going to thread the needle on one end I like to tie mine on so the needle doesn't slip off. But I'm going to be working, so here's the needle end. I'll be working with the opposite end when I first start. So here's the tail of my yarn. I want the tail of my yarn to be lined up with my bag. So the tail is pointing toward the handles on the left hand side. And the length of the yarn is on my right. I'm going to hold the tail of the yarn and the end of the bag, squeeze them together with my fingers of my left hand. My left hand is going to just hold everything still. And then my right hand is going to be doing all the wrapping and stitching. So first thing I have to do is wrap enough of the bag that we have a length where we can turn around. So let me show you that. I'm wrapping away from myself. One, two, three. And I just keep wrapping until... I've wrapped approximately the length of my thumb on my right hand side. So I'm going to keep going, going, going until it's the length of my thumb. And I'm trying to keep the wrapping of yarn close together so that it's not space of grocery bag showing through. And I, it, I'm covering up the end of the tail, so you can see it's getting covered up with the part that I've wrapped over. I'm just going to keep going. And I'm trying to wrap pretty consistently so that the thickness of the bag stays even. And that's probably enough. Now, this is the tricky part. I'm going to fold under. So I folded the, the beginning end to match the place where I just stopped wrapping. I'm going to squeeze that together with my fingers and I'm going to cover it by wrapping it together. It's important to pull pretty tight at this point because you don't want the tail of the bag to pop out. If this pops free, you have to unwrap and then start again. I'm just going to keep wrapping now that's joined together. And this time I'm going to wrap about from the place where I joined the two, I'm going to wrap about one thumb space. So I need to go to about here. That's the beginning of the bag. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to start turning and stitching so that I start making the spiral bottom of my coil basket.